Welcome back to the Unicorn Vlog. This video is a little out of sequence. I've got a small secret that I wanted to show you that I wanted to keep from Cletus. He had a little bit of a secret on his engine combo. I know that the car's lighter. The car didn't have more horsepower than mine. He is going to show up the ice cream cruise with more power. But because I found that out a little earlier, we're doing something a little before the ice cream cruise as well. We're putting an MS3 Pro standalone ECU on the computer and I promised myself I wouldn't do that for a few months at least until I knew everything was running well in the stock computer but because we've had all these delays and whatever uh, it's literally four and a half weeks before the ice cream cruise race and I want to have as much of an advantage as I can. The car's lighter, he's got more power, I just don't know if he's going to hook up but we're going to make sure that we hook up because of some of these toys that the MS3 Pro standalone ECU has. So we're heading to the Shop Inc. and we're going to check out that computer because it just got there before it goes on the car. Talk to Chad about some of the things that we're going to have uh, on top of what the factory computer could do so that we can have a little bit more advantage in this, these races against Leroy and Cletus McFartland. <laughs> Alright, Lincoln trip number 76, almost there. Dane joining me. He was heading to Lincoln for donuts because he was bored. He's got his, uh, as his place is not Rocket Bunny STI. <laughs> nice. Glad you got to eat today. The funny thing is I'm not going to tell Cletus about this until we're racing. One of the main reasons for the delays of getting this thing done is we put the car on the dyno with the 275 Pros on it. And you can see there's a little bit of rubbing. So my friend Joey in Kansas City had already been troubleshooting the same issue for his car. He ran into a guy in Texas, Victor, who uh, has fabbed us up some custom lower control arms so that we can move things around to fit right. So Cletus told me a little surprise when I was in North Carolina that the supercharged LS1 that he's running right now is not what he's running when we race. We have a little bit of surprise if you haven't spotted it yet that I haven't told him about yet, and it's this computer right here. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to run factory computer for a while to get used to the car, but we've run into some snags, and we've got five weeks right now, and we haven't finished tuning it, so we're just gonna jump right into it. And so this is the MS3 Pro Ultimate, Ultimate Edition, and that's from our friends at DIY. What's the extra stuff we're gonna get with the MS3 Pro compared to what we could do with factory. The big benefit to the aftermarket ECU is lots of safety margin built in. The way this is going to be set up is we're going to have uh, EGTs in each header pipe. So okay. we can basically do individual cylinder tuning. I have a wide band in each down pipe. So we'll do closed loop fuel control bank to bank and then do the individual with the EGTs. And then we have the capabilities of no lift shift, oh, yeah. anti lag on launch, nice. uh, traction control. Just a lot of really cool uh, options that the factory computer doesn't have. And the traction control, and a leg, and no lift shift are probably things that Cletus is not gonna have if yeah, he's running factory computer. You can yeah. add some of those on with like aftermarket stuff, yeah, yeah. but he's probably not gonna have that. Yeah, that'll be a huge benefit for sure. So we've got, uh, and you mentioned uh, engine protection. So like from over revving, over boosting. Over revving, over boost, um, fuel pressure. If okay. pressure drops, it'll 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 turn the engine off. And if it sees the wide band go too lean, is it gonna shut things yeah, down too? Yeah, you can have AFR safety. Mm -hmm. Just so much more safety than the stock computer. The stock computer really at wide open throttle, you're stuck with the tune that's in there. So if you have a fuel pump that fails during a wide open throttle pull and you don't realize it, yeah. you're going lean and you're gonna hurt some parts. Oh yeah. So this has a lot of that safety built in that we can take advantage of. Cool. So we won't have that, uh, that issue. I'm assuming we're gonna be running boost control through this too. I hadn't talked to you about that yet. Okay. We can for sure. You know, right now it's set up on the Turbo Smart. We can switch it over to this. Yeah. The Turbo Smart would be easier for you 
to change. To change. Because you don't have to get the computer out. And so we've been working with HP tuners on throttle body issues. I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do there because we have the 102. 102 throttle body that's given us the fix that sometimes you run into on these with the big throttle body. Well, we got a little advantage with the computer. We just have to hope that he doesn't go lame and come up, show up with an automatic or like a John Force tire in the uh, non-existent wheel wells he has because we don't, I mean, yeah, we're he's, stuck. He's got infinitely him. adjustable <laughs> choice of what he can do and, yeah. and you sure don't. So that would suck. The automatic wouldn't even, uh, that would take all the fun out of it. Yeah, I don't think he will. But he said he's sending his transmission to RPM just to freshen it up. He's going to do a motor, bigger motor than I do. He's going to do about the same turbos. He's going to water intercooled intake, which will be nice. Holly high ram on top of that. And then who knows what he's doing for a computer. Probably factory. He's doing factory right now. I'll be back in uh, a little bit. Good luck with the computer. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to do a little spying on, on Sketchyvert because he wants to race us at Ice Cream Cruise too. Ooh, boy. That Ooh. looks pretty. That's clean. Yeah, it is. Got them turbo smart wastegates as well. Yeah, he's got top mount turbos, which I really wanted to do. But, uh... You don't have the clearance for it? No. Dang. That's cool. Holy... So I was screwing around on my way out of town, heading back home, and did a little burnout at my friend's dealership. And now we have an open exhaust for the x I think. Stupid. Luckily, I'm pretty close to the shopping, so I'm gonna stop by and see if Chad will put it on the 9 and fix up the exhaust. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that big of an issue. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> I think we found our problem. <laughs> At least it's easy fix. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> On our way back from Rocky Mountain Race Week, just got the call this morning that Chad's finishing up the unicorns, some of the delays we've been having. So we're gonna stop by and give it a drive and see how everything's going. Oh, dang. That's, that's a tire right there. Holy sh yeah, it does. Okay, it's perfect. Ooh, I saw I saw he was on the dyno today. Yesterday. Last oh, yesterday. Nice. Well, I'm gonna take her out.
good. We uh, couldn't really get a ton of tuning in because I think the fuel's too warm. Oh, really? Yeah. What's wrong? Uh, the fuel's a little too hot, we think. Oh. It's vapor locking like the cars under on Ra Rocky Mountain Racing Bear. Oh, that's we were like, good though. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah. Finally got to feel boost. That was awesome. <laughs> Okay, so our weather is shit the whole oh, week. <laughs> yep. Good thing is, though, if we do it at 8, 8.30 at yeah. night, it's going to be... True. We don't have to deal with such a month. Cool. Well, we'll do this again in the evening. We'll make some more progress. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's been a struggle. Yeah, it's, been, <laughs> it's been quite the Oh, my year. God. All right, we'll be back. Cool. Thanks, Ed. Yeah. What was the two-step set on that one? Same as the last run, but we took some of the timing retard of that launch out. And that helped the 60 foot. Pull less or just yeah. hit the tire harder with more RPM? No. Just pull less? Yeah. Just do. Like you can see it, it spun and then it was fully hooked. And it was still pulling five degrees. Well, I, I think maybe we just go five and, and do five. control kick on the launch yep like right when you left it so you can see here here's the so it's working yep so that's the front wheel speed and then this is the okay. rear so it, it spun a little bit initially and then this green is the traction control uh, okay. so it took some timing out how long was that in for the traction control it was in for like a half second or less yeah yeah, I'm gonna change the launch RPM a little bit, maybe a little bit of the traction control stuff. Because these can spin a little bit and it doesn't really yeah, suck them too it'll much. Hook Boost by gear and sit on boost, the two step. The longer you sit on the two step, the more boost it's going to build. It's just, it sounds like I'm breaking it. I'm not used to that. Yeah. <laughs> 